last show I ever did with Rick was a <laughs> funk festival at the Greek Theater, and it was Shaka Khan and and uh, and uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Rick James, and all these bands, and everybody was going over there set time. And you know, there's this up in the Greek, there's a strict 11 o'clock. IA cuts it off. See you later. Bye. It doesn't matter where you are in your show, right? So it's probably a, a quarter to ten when we finally get the stage. And I go to Rick, and I pull him aside, and I go, look, man, we're not going to play our full set tonight. And this is the first time he ever got back to with Tina Marie for the first reunion that, mm -hmm. he, that he was going to do with her after all the years that they hadn't seen each other, right? So I said, listen, here's the deal. OK, we got 20 minutes. Maybe we can do because Shock is going to go on, right? So she's a headline. She's going to go on. She said, we got 20 minutes. Let's go out. Let's play the ballad with Tina Marie. Let's do, uh, let's do uh, you know, Harlem. Let's do uh, 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 Super Freak and get off stage. Leave him wanting more. Just go out there, slap him in the face, and get off. You're Rick James, motherfucker. And he goes, <laughs> I'm Rick James, motherfucker. He goes, I'm playing my whole set and fuck that Shaka Khan. <laughs> so I go, all right, all right, cool, whatever, bro. I'm just telling you where it's at, right? So he goes out with his band, Curtain Flies. He goes into the very, in the ghetto, 20-minute song already starting. <laughs> We're never going to get Tina Marie out there, right? So the union clicks on five minutes before Curtain going, Don, you know, we got to bring it down now because we still got to get Shaka on. We are going to get Shaka on. I'm like, oh, you know, I, I told him what's going on. You got to do what you got to do, man. You know? So the IA guy's like freaking out. Finally, we get to the ballad. Tina comes out. He goes, Tina Marie, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we haven't done this in years. And they walk out kind of downstage with the curtain, and they start playing Fire and Ice, and the band kicks in the Fire and Ice, and everything's going great. And I'm about three quarters of the way to the song, Union clicks out and goes, I'm bringing the curtain in. I'm like, oh, don't do it to me, man. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> curtain in, curtain coming. Right in the middle of their big on. Oh, no. Curtain comes oh, in, cuts the back and forth. Rick's like, and... Same thing, he calls me in the dresser and the next day, motherfucker, what's wrong with you? And I go, I told you, three songs and out, you had to play your whole set. I told you, but that was Rick, you know I mean? He'd yeah. always call you in the dressing room and give you that speech, oh, he used but to, you'd always win in the he end. He used you know? to find the band, if he ever, he had his hands and he'd put them up like this, and any time during the set, he would go like this with his hands. If they didn't break down, they get fined. There were guys that at the end of a rehearsal would owe him money because of all the fines. <laughs> yeah. They really were, I mean, he was crazy like that, he was.